Come all the way out here, all the way to the gateway to the Sahara Desert, and not go out into the desert. Also, this is a bucket list item for me. I've wanted to go here for the longest time. I'm so excited. Salam. Salam. Hello. Good morning. How are you? that caught a lift all the way out here to his cafe and he's gonna give us a tea for free um, which is really sweet and we're out here already in the desert just gonna have some uh, Tunisian tea in the desert this is our carriage this seems to be where everyone's like meeting up it's quite weird, it's just a cafe literally in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Nothing around. <laughs> But I really want to sit on okay. okay. you want any? Okay. Mm. That has got zero sugar. That's why he gave us sugars. How do you feel about it without <laughs> sugar? I don't know. I think I like it too much. <laughs> it's hectic without the sugar. Should I go get some? <laughs> How much? One. Full one. Yeah, let's go. Did you bring two? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to taste it once more. I just it. hope it dissolves. It's not that warm anymore. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's like it's strong. It's like not even like at the point of like it's okay. Like it's not nice. Without sugar. It's not good without sugar. That is so. Uh, it tastes like it tastes like a herbal medicine almost. Mmm. Better. There we go. <laughs> I've also had a little bit of a realization. Yeah. I mean, if you think this is real, right? I think I could be literally the only person in the entire Sahara Desert that's busy wearing short pants. Let's go to the desert. Well, we're already here, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Tea brother. Let's go deeper into the desert. into like the big dunes now. <laughs> so like we've been on little dunes, but now we're going to the big one. This is Tunisia, and no matter how far you go into the desert, of course, there's, there's a, a cafe. cafe. <laughs> no, no, no. Zibble, zibble. Now we really are in the middle of nowhere. And the answer and 
that we'd be coming to it, it is an oasis we're at an oasis you know we're in the middle of the desert and there's we'll still show you there's a big like swimming hole just behind us and it's heated water naturally really, heated naturally heated water and really thought that we'd be coming here being one of the only people here but like if you look down this way there's big tourist buses full of people like buses full of people that's how many people there are here so it's um it's not our favorite. It's not our favorite. Okay, so we're not feeling the greatest at the moment. Like, just listen to all the hooting. We weren't expecting to hear hooting out in the desert. So we got ourselves a coffee. We're gonna sit and... We're gonna sit and kind of wait out the tourists and try to wait for most of them to leave and then we'll show you around. Also, Merry Christmas. It's not going to be Merry Christmas by the time this video comes out. It definitely won't be Merry Christmas. <laughs> it might even be February already. <laughs> such a tight budget and we try to save or spend as little as possible when we're traveling and we've spent quite a lot on this particular day this particular experience so I for one am so determined to just enjoy this as much as I possibly can obviously it's not great that there's just people everywhere but I think that in a few hours time there won't be as many people another thing is that tonight we're staying here we're not like leaving we're staying, spending the night here and we'll be heading out into those dunes that I'm looking at behind this camera and we'll be setting up our little tent and just camping in the middle of the Sahara and I'm so excited. I'm excited to see what the stars look like. I'm just, we will do everything in our power 
to absolutely enjoy and just take full advantage of where we are. I'm just so pumped to be here, even though this particular spot with all these people isn't that great. <laughs> It just feels a bit crazy to be in a place like this because we were traveling for how far would you say? I don't know how far it was, but we it drove felt like, like hundreds of kilometers. <laughs> hundreds of kilometers is probably a bit excessive. Yeah, probably like a hundred and something kilometers. That we it was drove. a long time that we, we drove were for a long time, and yeah. there was just nothing anywhere. It was just nothing, and now we're in a place that I mean, just look at the size of these trees, you know. And there's just some, there's just a body of water right there. <laughs> that I was facing you. <laughs> like there, there's just water right there. And it just feels so out of place. So I can imagine like if you're a Berber and you're traveling for days and days and days on end and you come across a place like this, it would just be, it would just be the dream, hey? What do you think? Yeah, for sure. I think if I found this place, I'd never leave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's very warm. It's really? Like, I'd probably say it's like 28. That warm? Yeah. Are we going to swim? Sometime. <laughs> Except, I don't know if you can see that. I Feeling a bit shy. This cafe is surrounding the water uh, and everybody's facing the water. Everybody's chairs are facing the water. So you just, it's kind of like a spectacle if you come and swim there. Mm. Because everybody's just watching you. And especially us it's because we're cute. tourists. And like, I, I don't know if I'd want you to be watched like that. Oh, uh, really? So I think if we don't swim now, we're going to have to save it for the sunrise swim tomorrow morning. Mm. When there's less people in. There'll, there'll probably be nobody here tomorrow morning. Yeah, at sunrise, no yeah. one. There won't be anyone. So that'll be quite nice. And yeah. also because we don't have any bathroom, like showers. Yeah, so that'll be our shower. We'll come and shower tomorrow morning. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> so I think one of the biggest misconceptions, or two of the biggest misconceptions I learned today about the desert is that it's not just rolling sand dunes and it's not nothing the amount of shrubs and like small bushes that we found today is crazy it's everywhere and that's exactly what the camels feed on mm. which makes sense because if there are no shrubs what would, what they, would eat? they eat yeah. and also that's not really just the rolling sand dunes that i always thought about most of today was actually driven on flat compacted sand that had lots of rocks everywhere yeah we did go over big sand dunes and that was a lot of fun yeah but most of it we were traveling at like 80 k's an hour on hard compacted sand and i think that's kind of like to really see the desert you know rather than just the pictures that we always see of it and like here again we're in the middle of the desert <laughs> desert and we're in an oasis and look how green it is these are date trees yeah it's like a farm Everywhere. in the middle of the desert <laughs> We've just been invited to sit with everyone here. Don't really know what's happening. But... <laughs> what's your name? Sarah. What's your name? Sarah. 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 Ali. 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 Sarah. Ali. 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 Salim, Hassan, Hassan, Mohammed, Marek, 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 Marek,
That's the next one. Oh my god, an apple? Ayuta, Tahiri, Badi. From Libya. From Libya. From Libya. Orange. Thank you. Orange. our night in the desert. This is kind of crazy. Just managed to get it up before the sun's completely gone and it's going to get very cold from now. We have got, we've actually managed to get a, a bed today from my friends which is really nice. Last night we just slept on a blanket. A blanket. So we've got like a mattress. Mm -hmm. We've also got two blankets and two pillows as well. Blanket, blanket, pillow, pillow. And here's our food for the night. Pretty much just two baguettes and fig jam. <laughs> Although our new friends might actually like feed us as well. I don't know if they'll be bummed if we don't come back. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was completely random as well. We were just walking back to them to ask like our guide. If you can please tent. just open the open the vehicle so we can get our tent and stuff and then we ended up sitting with them and they just gave us stuff and carried on giving us stuff and carried on giving us stuff. Chocolate and nachos yeah. and, and now apples they wanna have and water. <laughs> now they want us to join them for, for supper as well. One thing I will say is people here are just extremely, extremely hospitable. I don't think I've ever experienced people that are this friendly and they just want to give you stuff, they just want to feed you, they just want to welcome you. It's really amazing. Yep, so this is our tent. We're just here in the dune, nothing around us, for as far as you can see. What is this life? Except when you get to this place. I mean, just look at it. There's just trees and water and... I go back to the thing I said earlier. Can you imagine being a Berber person, traveling for days and days and days, and then finding this place? So we've had our uh, baguette and fig jam sitting on the dunes looking at the stars. It's getting really cold now. And I figured I'd show you guys our tight little space. We've literally got our bags packed right next to us. And this is literally the whole bed is this little section. Um, there's only just enough space for Marek and I to lie in here. Um, next to the bags. Oh, Marek, I'm going to punch you. <laughs> he keeps throwing things at the tent and giving me a frat. Chat to you in the morning. We'll see how we survive this cold. Good morning from the Sahara Desert. What the heck? Marek's just packing up camp. He's still waking up. I'm still waking up. This is where we had our little dinner last night on this like little dune that's right near our tent. And we were eating baguettes so there were little crumbs and there's just little tiny tiny paw prints all around that area. So cute. So something little, I think one of those little jackals came and feasted on our <laughs> crumbs. That was cold but we managed to sleep and managed to stay warm enough to get some good sleep but wow it's cold it's freezing right now we're waiting for the sun to come up the sky is only just a little bit orange it is so cold Oy. Oh my gosh! That's 
actually better. It's better to get in today uh, than yesterday. <laughs> and that's our time in the Sahara Desert done. What an experience it's been. Next up, we're going to an island called Jerba. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.